Jumping is one of those things that we see in a lot of different sports and, and seeing how the body uh, reacts biomechanically to landing and then exploding uh, into the jump is, is very important. Gives us a lot of insights to the biomechanics of the lower extremity, uh, especially in young females, where we often see the knee collapsing when they go into landing and then the jump, obviously putting them at higher risk of ACL and, and meniscal injuries. So today we're going to use the Kinetosense 3D Motion Capture system. Uh, this system is markerless and we're going to be going through the assessment of a jump and reach test. Alright, so to, to do an assessment of the jump and reach test, we have Maggie here. Um, we see her on the Kinetosense system. The information that we see here to, to the side, that is all of our frontal plane information. On the opposite side, we see that transverse plane information. We're going to be having, jump, or having Maggie jump off of the stool, load down, and then go to explode as if she were going after a rebound in basketball or going after the ball. So we'll start on, on our lift, we'll jump, we'll load, we'll spring, and we'll explode. Let's do this one more time. And as you can see, we have very good information on the biomechanics and how she's loading into her spring. Go ahead, we'll jump and explode up. This gives us a lot of information. Oftentimes we see these patients when they drop down in, in, into load that we see a valgus knee collapse and we'll do a jump with a collapse because they lack the stability of keeping the hips externally rotated as they go into their load. We also see that a lot of times quad dominance will occur. Well, they'll go into a jump and the knees will track over top of the feet and they lose a lot of that, uh, a lot of the power that should be generated from that posterior chain from the glutes and the hamstrings.